YouTube, it's Jay with Earthly Kisses, and today we are making a new soap. Uh, today's fragrance of the day is Forever Red. Um, it will slightly discolor, but I'm okay with that. And here we have our oils and our kaolin clay. Everything is measured out and ready to go with the exception of our mica. So we are going to go ahead and get started. In with our lye water. have a plan for this soap. We are going to just go with the flow. Okay. So now that we are at emulsification, like I said, um, the fragrance will discolor a bit. I'm okay with that. I'm going to go ahead and add it in now. Uh, I do check reviews before I use uh, any fragrance, uh, just before I start my soaping. Uh, this does not accelerate or rise, according to very many reviews. So we're going to go ahead and get that added in now. So we're going to do three colors today. We're going to stay with the natural soap. Uh, even though it's going to discolor, I, I, I'm hoping that it's going to stay a bit on the lighter side uh, due to the uh, lard that is in this soap, which as you know, if you've made lard soap, that it makes a very white bar of soap. Okay, so I'm only going to leave about that much. That's going to be our natural color there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put that to the side. Now we have two colors here. Uh, we have a tomato red from TKB. And then I have a Red Vibrant Smiker for Nurture Soap Supply. So let's try these colors out and see what they are going to do. I, I've used the Tomato Red, and it does make a nice red. It's like a really bright red. Uh, so I'm hoping these two colors will work okay together. Um, and because the Tomato Red is so bright, we're going to go with a smaller amount here. And this is going to have to be blended in, of course, in order for me to really tell where I'm going. Um, so far, I'm liking um, this recipe here. Um, I kind of expected with the kale and clay to do like how my other recipes normally do. And that is to... They, uh, were always just so thick, especially when I use the kale and clay. Um, but this seems to be doing quite okay so far. That didn't want to come out of there. Okay. I 
I'm going to be sure to give both of these a good mix because we don't want any speckles in this salt. This is, the scent is, oh, it is beautiful guys. This is definitely a real woman's scent. This is not a fragrance for teenagers, if you ask me. Oh, it's just so delectable. Okay. And like I said, yeah, it's doing wonderful. It's not accelerating. There's no ricing going on. Just a real nice feminine scent. I can get this thing on here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we definitely need more of that. Oh, that's very bright. I'm hoping the um, this coloration make that help that to tone down a bit, but it's red. <laughs> um, that's usually a color that's a color that's hard to achieve. This here is more of a. Hmm, I don't know how to explain this color red. But it's definitely dark enough already as is, so we're good on that. I hope everyone is having a great day. Um, I'm having another day where it just doesn't seem to me seem to be uh, much sunshine to go around. I just made a huge mess. I don't know what it is with me. It's only when I'm making videos. Okay, so can you see this red? It's a nice deep, um, like a deep clay red. Especially when you compare it to that. That is very bright. Okay. I kind of expected this to be a plopper type soap, but uh, it's turning as it turns. It's going to be a nice soap to swirl with. So we'll see what our creation is going to be. Here's our mold. We're going to start with this nice deep red. And like I said, no plans or anything for this. Just pour and go. Ready? Hope you guys let me turn this way so you guys can see what I'm doing here. I can see already this is gonna have gorgeous swirls. If, especially if I don't get it all on myself and not in a mold. And this scent again is Forever Red.
looking like I may have underestimated my batch here. And I do have everything in here, so... Oh well. And it would help if I didn't do that. Sorry, I'm so quiet. I'm thinking about this here. <laughs> um, trying to figure out why I did not fill my entire mold. I did not miss anything. Um, on my measuring. Well, I'm not quite sure what happened there. We're somewhat almost to the top, but I um, don't you guys know me. I, I get anal about these things. I like it to be right all the time. I have a hard time taking no uh for an answer. Okay. Okay, so what are we going to do with the tops? Um, I think for the top, we are going to let this uh, set up a bit. Oh yeah, I can see some discoloration in my soap batter already. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it. Uh, maybe we can go. If I just be careful it won't see through. I'm starting to sound like a frog guys. I hope I'm not trying to get sick again. That last bout of me being sick was for the birds. It surely was. I don't want to do that again. It's still somewhat thin, but I'm managing it okay. Okay, so we'll see what kind of swirly do we can do uh, with this. And you see how bright of a red that is? That is uber bright.
um, but I am liking that um, my mixture stayed nice and fluid throughout the whole process. Um, this is definitely not a recipe I would want to have to sit and wait um, to set up for piping. Yeah, this is this is one that would, would get on my nerves because it I think it would take forever. This is a uh, one of the most fluid mixes I've worked with so far. So yeah, I wouldn't want to wait on this. So let me grab my skewer. no idea what this is going to wind up looking like <laughs> as far as the swirl is concerned um, just have to make it what it's going to be I know this is a thin layer I'm not going down into the soap I'm just pushing, helping it along to the edges. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see what we can do here. Mm, I'm wondering if I should take this all the way through. No, I'm not going to. across but I see it's being temperamental it doesn't want to so we're just gonna have to do another one of these doohickeys I don't want to muddy it up. Uh, it's not working with me here as far as the top is concerned. Uh, I'm going to try one more thing and then that's going to be it. I think that's better. That's as good as it's going to get. And as we all know, the more you play with it, the more you jack it up. So That's it. This is Forever Red. Very, very lovely female scent. Oh, I made bath salts with this. And I was in love. Nice, strong scent. It doesn't appear to be that strong, though, when it's on your skin, it does linger a bit and everything. So, this is wonderful for a lotion, bath salts, body wash, so whatever it is you want to use this for. This is just a wonderful fragrance for a woman. 
um I don't believe I'm going to put glitter on this because I just don't know how that's going to look with the discoloration that's coming in um as you can see the red has darkened up a bit both of them um and I'm okay with that so we'll leave it just as that so I hope you guys are having a great day uh stay tuned on earthly kisses channel for a cut video have a great day guys bye